Hi everybody, welcome to the Scott Show Wake Up Call. We are live here 8 o'clock in the morning. The only day we don't do this live in the morning uh, at 8 o'clock is A, on Saturday mornings at 7 we do it, and B, when I sleep in uh, like I did yesterday. Again, I apologize for that to all our listeners of our live show because we are live and making things happen. And I love it so much. We got an action-packed show today, lots of really cool stuff. Um, lots of studying I did before uh, checking out the show, but first of all, I got to give my first thumbs up of the day uh, to pets. So, folks, I was online and I was looking at uh, different gifs and gifs and all that other stuff and all the peanut butter you can find, all the gifs. Um, but I had seen one that had a beagle on it who was playing the piano. And I liked it. It's on my Facebook. It's really, really funny. And it reminded me of my beagle, Roscoe, uh, the family beagle, when I was uh, had the unfortunate part of my life where I was married. Um, so I remembered that and how great it was to have a pet, including my cat that I had, Peaches, um, who was the devil spawn. Um, she was cute, but she got into everything, so she just caused trouble, and that's why we called her the Devil Spawn. Uh, of course, she was mine, so go figure. Uh, but pets are an integral part of society, and uh, love your pet today. Even though it's not a, a day on CheckIDay.com, uh, just love your pet today. Give them an extra little treat. Uh, thumbs down today uh, for heart problems. It is Heart Healthy Month. Um, in the United States, and it should be around the world. Uh, heart Healthy Month is to remember to do things that are good for your heart. Lots of cardio. Um, I am a big proponent of cardio uh, because that's just what I. That's mostly what I do at the gym. Uh, one reason I bring this up is because we almost lost uh, Kevin Smith, who was uh, fam- who is. A, a very famous director, actor. Um, he is Silent Bob from the show uh, Jay and Silent Bob. He is from Clerks, uh, Dogma, all these great things. Uh, he had a heart attack. Uh, so thoughts go out to uh, him and his family. Hopefully everything goes a little bit better and he feels better. So got to give uh, heart problems a big time thumbs down. There you go. First little info I got, and I want to thank our wonderful correspondent in New Zealand, Tiffany, uh, for this info that New Zealanders uh, eat a lot of ice cream. A lot of ice cream. In fact, 26, I I could argue uh, what it is, but the stat that I have here is that it's 26 liters uh, per year of ice cream. Um... United States is at 20, Australia is at 18, Finland's at 14, and those and Sweden is at 12. So the top uh, amount per capita consumption of ice cream, New Zealand wins by 8 liters. Holy crap. So uh, that's 8, that's what... Every single person eats a year. Um, I guess I'm going to have to help the United States out a little bit and eat more ice cream. Go figure. Uh, The United Kingdom actually comes in at number 10 at 7. So the New Zealanders, the Kiwis, as we call them here, and they call it, they say themselves Kiwis, eat four times as much ice cream as people in the UK. Go figure. Uh, so I thought that was an interesting thing. Got to give a big time thumbs up to ice cream. Um, because ice cream is good. Butter brickle is good. Peppermint Bon Bon is awesome. Um, just all the good stuff. So those are my two favorite. I'm just going to give it up to that, right? Because that's what I do. Thumbs down. I'm going to probably get some hate tweets on this one. But I'm going to go for it anyway. Uh, I got a very interesting email yesterday. That Michelle Obama's book is coming out in November. First of all, it's January. It's February. 
I feel like it's January because it's so much snow outside. I'm about to put my Christmas tree up again. But it's February. It's almost the end of February. But I don't need to hear about something that's coming out in November. Uh, any book. I don't care if it's coming out in November. I don't even want to hear about movies that are coming out in the summer until next month. Um, it, unless it's Minions 2, which doesn't come out for another year. So I got this message that said, Michelle Obama's book is coming out, uh, her memoirs. Um, I, I don't really know what, you know, yeah, First Lady of the United States, that, that's all great and good. Um, you know, she was the wife of a senator, and then a, a state senator, a U.S. senator, and the president. Um, she did try to come up with some stuff for, uh, eating healthier, which didn't work. Still look at our society, folks. McDonald's is rocking it. Um, so I don't understand, uh, why, uh, it would be imperative for her to write her memoirs. I, I don't get it. Um, I am not a Michelle Obama fan. Um, I will never, uh... I would never vote for her for anything because I don't. She's never done anything. Um, you know, that's just kind of what it is. I mean, yes, she has been a very, very good. Uh, she's been very good to her husband. Uh, they work together, and that's all great and good. But I would not vote for her for anything ever. Um, and I, you know. The problem with our society today is that book is going to be a number one bestseller um, and it, it should just be like Brian Griffin's book from Family Guy. Just have blank pages and it would still sell because it has somebody's name on it that is semi-famous for nothing. So that, that gets a big time thumbs down to me. Um, Michelle Obama's book. Just, I, I, I don't even get it. So, yeah, whatever works. Thumbs up, though, has got to go to a woman who deserves uh, all of the praise in the world. I just heard about this story today. I probably should have heard about this story a long time ago. Um, Irina Sendler. And the reason Irina Sendler, who... Uh, Gets, you know, big time thumbs up and everything else. Is because uh, she should have got the Nobel Peace Prize. And she should have got the Nobel Peace Prize uh, for saving 2,500 Jewish children during the Holocaust. This woman worked in the ghetto of Warsaw. She would hide kids in her toolbox. She was a plumber. Um, and she would hide the little infants in her toolbox. Uh, kids in burlap sacks. And get them out. Um, and, and to safety. 2,500 children. She saved. Um, lives were better because of her. Oh, I mean they were saved from the gas chamber first of all. But then you know they were adopted and. You know, taken uh, wherever they needed to go to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. I mean, come on. And uh, the the little thing that I that I saw said uh, she was up for Nobel Peace Prize, but didn't get it because uh, Al Gore got it for a PowerPoint on global warming, which I thought was pretty funny. So she should have got it. There you go. Thumbs down for spitting at the Olympics. I had seen um, one of our great friends here posted that very same thing. Spitting at the Olympics gets a thumbs down. Um, not a fan of that, especially when it's on TV. So, yeah, big time thumbs down to that. We go to checkiday.com, first of all. It's Carnival Day today. It's for Pete's Sake Day. It's Levi Strauss Day today. National Personal Chef Day. National Pistachio Day. T 
tell a fairy tale day and thermos bottle day. So it's all those days today at checkiday.com. Check it out. Um, that is pretty awesome. So, uh, shout outs go to Keith today, to Rick, uh, to Nicole, to Paige, to Rachel, to Lisa, my former boss. Gotta give her a shout out today. Uh, to Daniel and to Tony. So, gotta give them all a shout out today. Um, other news going on, and I, I, I can't believe some of the stuff going on today. Um, McDonald's is coming back with Szechuan sauce. After last time they came out with Szechuan sauce because of the Rick and Morty uh, TV show. So, big time. Uh, yes. Szechuan sauce. Uh, WWE Elimination Chamber was last night. I will be updating that a little bit here today. Uh, WWE Elimination Chamber um, live from Vegas last night. And interesting show. Ronda Rousey uh, showed up and uh, put Triple H through a table. So that was pretty interesting. Hockey tonight in the semifinals between Duluth Marshall and Duluth East. Four or five o'clock. Either one. I can't remember which one. Uh, we'll have to check that out. I'm probably going to be at the game tonight. News from the other side. I had to put this on here. Uh, Australia organized a mullet. Uh, who could grow the best mullet? Um, so check that out online. Uh, January was the hottest month in 150 years in New Zealand. And tomorrow they will have a new leader of a major political party. That's all from the other side. Our state pick today is Tennessee, and that is the Scott Show Wake Up Call for today. Uh, we will be back here later on with This Day in History and uh, WWE Elimination Chamber, as well as some new podcasts, and check out the dailymotion.com slash 102550 for all of your cool videos. We're also going to be uploading a lot more very, very soon here on the Scott Show.com. Check it out, like, share, subscribe.